We've also had folks ask us about indirect cooking on a Sabre grill. So this afternoon we're going to cook a beef roast and a boneless pork shoulder roast indirectly on the Sabre 500 cast unit. Prep to these is very simple. Um, trim any excess fat that you don't want to leave on either cut of meat. And then we happen to use a 30 minute marinade specifically designed for either pork or beef uh, just to give it some exterior flavor as opposed to a dry rub method. And this is a total matter of personal choice. Either of these could be put on without any seasoning other than salt and cracked black pepper or you can choose your fav favorite dry rub. I would only caution that you don't use a high sugar content product because of the extended period of time that this will cook it will tend to burn if there's either a high molasses or high sugar content to a rub that you would use. We've got our grill out uh, preheating right now and we should be ready to put these on in a couple minutes. You can see that uh, I've preheated two of the three burners on the grill. The burner on the far right hand side and the center burner both are reading in about the 300 degree range and the burner on the far left is off so it is reading ambient air temperature so I think we're ready to put our meat on. You will notice that I've placed the meat on the far left hand side of the grill where the burners are not on. The center burner and the far right hand side are on. You might notice a slight temperature fluctuation here as you open the lid and create uh, some moving air up through the venting. Our thermometers actually pass through the venting, so you might see a slight temperature spike here. That's completely normal. As soon as you put the lid down, a little bit of time passes, your thermometers will register the appropriate temperature. It's been about an hour and a half of cooking time, and you can see that the internal temperature on the pork roast is about 101 degrees. Um, so we're making nice and steady progress. Um, it's beginning to brown, it's beginning to firm up as is the beef. So we'll continue on and see uh, how we proceed here. Here we are at about three hours and fifteen minutes and the pork shoulder roast is just hit a hundred and fifty one and a half or so and the beef roast in the front is a little in excess of hundred and forty degrees. So we've got uh, a done pork roast and a medium well beef roast so now we'll go wrap them in foil and let them sit and uh, let some moisture redistribute out through the product and then cut and enjoy. As you can see we have a nice medium to medium rare uh, cut on the beef so absolutely delicious and ready for the table. Here's our boneless pork shoulder. We cooked it to a little over 150 degrees to ensure that it was completely done according to the USDA standards. And as you can see, it's nicely carameled and cooked through, extremely moist and juicy, uh, done to perfection and ready for the table and friends. Sabre, the premium grill that's second to none.